Good morning all. Firstly, let me apologise, I am slightly bummed up. Now, as many of you probably know, I am banned still on Facebook, so it is really difficult for me to get the message out, defend the party, defend our leader, um, speak anything positive in terms of Brexit, and speak out against the individuals that uh, are set to damage Brexit, UKIP, and any anything which is for the good of the people. Um, now people keep reporting me and I keep getting shut down because obviously people fear uh, the true message getting out and that true message is that UKIP is truly the party of the people and that people need to realise this uh, because UKIP is the only hope of ensuring the freedom for our nation and our people and make sure that we have a safe and prosperous nation to live in and that our people can hold their head high as proud British people once more. But I feel I need to set the record straight on, on certain things with how our leader is being attacked at the moment and the damage that is currently being done to our party due to this. Now, Henry Bolton, uh, as many of you know, originally I wasn't supporting for leadership. I was supporting another candidate. And I won't speak about that candidate because personally I would never give them the time of day again knowing what I know about that candidate and their plans for the, for the party and the other plans of which they feel that they can uh, achieve, uh, which is ludicrous in itself. Henry was the best choice uh, for leader and uh, I, I then realised that um, the, my only fear with him coming into leadership late was that many people wouldn't realise uh, how strong a candidate he was and actually the experience that he had. And that is why I never originally supported Henry because I didn't believe that he could get himself into that position. Now, obviously, myself and other key people moved over from uh, a certain person and that also helped to, to raise Henry's profile but believe me, he, the majority of this was done uh, by the team that supported him and actually due to Henry's credentials uh, and believability himself. Now, Henry, in terms of a person, was a solid candidate and is still a solid candidate and was absolutely bulletproof. There was nothing that could be used to damage him. However, uh, certain people within the party, on the outside of the party, were not happy with this and seeked a way to, to look at every opportunity to damage him. Of course, there wasn't. Now, during the leadership, um, and, uh, and I do apologise if, uh, if I have misled anyone myself, I, I've been privy to certain private and confidential information uh, from Henry and, and also afterwards. Now, I vowed to Henry that I would not put this in the public domain because it wasn't my place to do so. But knowing that uh, Henry's relationship at that time was not in a good position and has steadily got worse uh, in taking over the, the leadership. Um, I understand uh, what it was like for Henry. I've been in that situation myself. Uh, and I'm not going to speak any more uh, about what's gone on uh, within Henry's uh, private life or, or even for my own. But what must be said is that the, the, the women are, are not always innocent within relationships and can treat men very cruelly. And this can also have a knock-on effect on the children to the point that the children see what are going on and, uh, and get very upset themselves. And this is what happened uh, Christmas Eve. And this is why uh, Henry uh, had to remove himself from the family home because he did not want to bring upset to his children over Christmas. The plan was that he was going to separate from his wife within the new year. Now, obviously, he had met Joe and they'd been talking at this time um, and, and nothing more than, than that. Uh, and once he broke up with his wife, then he would have uh, possibly looked to uh, a relationship with her within the new year. Obviously, sadly, uh, the upset came around Christmas time, and, and, you know, I can imagine the upset it would have been for Henry to have to walk away uh, from the family home for the benefit of not wanting to upset his children on Christmas Day. And, and then... Uh, him and Joe um, found themselves getting together. Now, my personal thoughts on Joe is 
that uh, I wish that this had not happened to Henry because uh, this is what's made uh, Henry now a target because I don't agree with anything this woman says. I don't think she serves in the best interest of the party. And for me, I could never trust this person uh, just because of links that I believe that she has. But Henry has also seen a different side of this. He's seen how she has been targeted by individuals, how friends have turned on her sharing private private messages uh, to, to public, to, to the media, uh, to certain individuals that wish to see the downfall of Henry, to discredit him, to remove, remove him from the leadership, to allow other people to get back in, which would further damage the party and destroy the party. And we do not want that to happen. We do not want these corrupt people involved. But there are certain people, uh, for one, who I call the flowerpot men, who created uh, a movement without the authorisation of the party. And if you think of the, the names of the flowerpot men, it's pretty clear who these people are. And they've set to undermine certain people within the party, block certain people within the party, uh, and... In, in my mind, uh, serve other people. Let's just leave it at that. Um, all this will come to light. I can assure you of this. But what we must, what we can't do is is give in to these people who wish to damage the party further, damage our leader. Yes, Henry's put him himself in a difficult position. Uh, getting with Joe, uh, these things happen in love, and I feel that uh, I wish this had never happened for him because he is an honest, true, and decent guy. Um, but at this moment we must stand by the leader we can't afford another leadership it would be destructive for the party and I hope personally that Henry can continue to lead the party and that he will do the right thing to ensure that he can do this thank you